Hi everyone, I'm Molly and I currently work for the Communications Department at Charleston County Public Library and I'm here today to show you how to turn an old white t-shirt into a tie-dye tote bag. So um, this video is going to come to you in two segments. The first is to show you how to turn it into a tote bag and the second will show you how to use beets to tie-dye it. You only need a couple of materials for the first part of this process and those materials are an old t-shirt, a pair of scissors, a marker, and a mixing bowl. So the first step in this process is to take a bowl and place it right under the collar. This is where your tote bag will open and you're going to take a marker and you're going to just put dashes around where the bowl is so that you know where to cut later. Okay, so when you're finished with this part of the process, it's just going to look something like this. So the straps of your tote bag are going to be about this size, whatever amount of room you leave between the part, um, the lines that you've drawn for the marker and this part of the sleeve, because you're going to cut off this part. So however long you want the straps to be, or however wide you want the straps to be, that's how much room you want to leave here. Okay, the next step is to cut off the sleeves of the shirt. So you're just going to follow the natural line. You want to make sure that you're pulling the shirt tight. Okay, that's one. And then the next. And it's easier if you use um, scissors that are created to actually cut cloth, but you can also use any other scissors too. It just might be harder to get straight lines. Okay, so this is what our t-shirt looks like right now. So next, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to cut out the part of the t-shirt that we marked off with the bowl. And I'm cutting both sides of the t-shirt at the same time. All right. So this is what we have right now. It kind of looks like a tank top. The next part of the process is for you to cut slits into the bottom of the t-shirt. So you want to kind of go ahead and determine how deep you want your bag to be because however high up your slits go, that's going to be the bottom of your bag. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut those fringes 
and I'm going to have them come to about this high. And for this part of the process, again, you're cutting both sides of the shirt at the same time. And I'm making the fringes about an inch wide a piece. So this is what you should have now. You want to make sure that these fringes all come up about the same length and that they're all about the same width, but it's not a big deal if it's not exact. So for the next part of the process, you're going to tie the fringes together on the end. So the, you're going to tie the fringe from the back part of the t-shirt to the fringe that matches it on the front part of the t-shirt. You want to double knot it. So I've started the process here, and this is basically what it's going to look like. So you'll just continue on that route until you reach the end. Okay, and this is what the bottom of the t-shirt will look like now. So you're actually already done with the process of making the tote. So for the next part of the process, I'm going to show you how to use beads to tie-dye your shirt. For the second part of this process, you're going to need some rubber bands, three beads, two cups of vinegar, and eight cups of water. Okay, so to start the process of tie-dyeing, you're going to take these three fingers, place them in the center of your new tote bag, and you're going to twist it until it's all bunched up. You can kind of hold it in place with your other hand as you twist, okay, and it's going to look like this. And then you're going to take rubber bands and you're going to place them around your tote bag, making sure that they all intersect in the middle. And this tie-eye technique will create a sort of swirl effect. I'm going to use four rubber bands, and you could use more if you would like. And this is what it looks like now. As you can see, all the rubber bands intersect in the middle. Okay, so it's time to head to the kitchen so we can start boiling those beets and get to tie-dyeing. Okay, to begin, you'll need two cups of vinegar and eight cups of water in a large pot that you're going to bring to a boil and then place your tote bag in. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with that water. Okay. 
So we have our eight cups of water, and now we're going to measure out two cups of vinegar. Now you'll turn your stove top on high. Then you're going to place your pot on the eye and let it come to a boil. As you can see, the water has come to a boil, so now it's time to put your t-shirt in. Okay, so while our tote bag is simmering in the vinegar and water, we are going to go ahead and we're going to peel our beets and slice them, and then we're going to add them to a different pot, cover them with water, bring that pot to a boil, and then back down to a simmer, and let that sit for an hour as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling and slicing, and I'm gonna show you what the beets look like after they have been peeled and sliced, and then we're gonna put them in that pot. So this is what our first beet looks like after I peeled it. It's just so you can kind of get an idea of the color that we're going for for our bag. It's this deep purple reddish color. So I hope you like it. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to peel and then I'm going to slice and I'll show you where I am after that. So this is what it looks like after it's been peeled and sliced. We're gonna go ahead and add that to the pot now and pour some water on top until it covers it completely and then we're going to put it on the eye. I do want to mention as you may have noticed that I am wearing gloves just because the color is likely to get on your hands and it might stain it. Um, of course it will eventually come out but gloves are a nice way to prevent getting too messy in the process. So let's go ahead and grab that pot and throw in the beads. Okay so we have our pot. We're going to go ahead and put in the beads. And then, like I said, we're going to add water, just enough water to make sure that they are covered. So it's going to take about six cups of water to completely cover your three beads. Okay, I've added in the water, and now I'm going to stick the beads on the eye, turn it on high, and let it start boiling. As you can see, it's come to a boil, and now we're going to turn it down to a simmer and let it sit for an hour. Okay, so we're almost at the end of the process. The beads have been boiling for an hour. I've turned off the eye. I'm gonna go ahead and take the slices out of the water and then we're going to put the shirt in. You might wanna use a slitted spoon to do this just to make sure that you don't um, take out any excess water. You want as much water in the pot as possible. And if you don't wanna be wasteful, you can always pickle these beets after you've finished. And when I get done, I'll show you the water's that dark red color. All right. So as you can see, like I said, that water's like your deep red color. So the next step is to go ahead and put that shirt in. So we're going to grab the shirt out of the vinegar and water mixture. Place it in our beet water. And then we let that sit for another three hours. And here's our final product after removing the tote from the pot and taking off the rubber bands. I recommend that you let the material completely dry, then iron the tote to help the dye set in before washing it to get that vinegar smell out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please come back to CCPL's Facebook page to find more craft videos like this in the future.